A good many patients come to me with a history of a tympanic membrane perforation. This can be caused by a bacterial infection, which can actually rupture the eardrum, and this will cause pus to be coming out of the ear. Of course, in the process, it causes a lot of pain and fever. Uh, these usually will heal when the infection is uh, corrected, uh, treated, uh, and don't cause any problems. You can have tympanic membrane perforations from a slap to the side of the head or a hit in the, in the ear, uh, which is kind of acts like a little explosion. It blows the eardrum out. If this happens within uh, a day or so, the person should be coming in um, and, and to be evaluated. Sometimes they will go to the primary care doctor, they'll be given drops or whatever else, and the drops can go through the perforation, and if that's not the right kind of drops, then it might be causing pain and discomfort. Uh, the tympanic membrane perforation from a blow or, or uh, an extremely loud noise uh, can cause some actual bleeding in the ear, and so this should be recognized, and a good examination uh, should be done to make sure the perforation what the type of perforation is there. If it is from a blow to the head, from a slap or a, a fist or whatever, uh, we can usually lay a, what we call a, a paper patch over the perforation and th this will help to draw the edges of the perforation which kind of curl away when it happens and if there's something doesn't bring these edges back then they will not necessarily heal and sometimes we have to do an operation to repair the make membrane. So if we see within the first day or so of the injury, we can lay a piece of paper across the top and it will attract the edges to come up and stick to the paper and they will then knit and heal the perforation there. The perforation that it comes from a bacterial infection will usually uh, repair itself um, and after the infection is cleared. The right kind of antibiotics uh, should be given with, a, with an infection that results in a perforation, uh, both orally and with antibiotic ear drops. Um, when it is from an injury to the ear, a blow or something, it also, since it kind of, it's kind of an explosion, it can also damage the hearing. So when the perforation seems to be healing, uh, then it would be a good idea to follow up with a hearing test to make sure that the hearing organ has not been damaged. The main thing about eardrum perforation is you want, you want no water from showering or washing your hair or swimming to go into the ear because it can end up with all kinds of different infections and more, more problems. So if you have a suspected perforated eardrum, you need to see an otorynologist so that the proper measures can be done to help it repair quickly.